Uh oh, Chris Christie's on the line. Hello. Yeah, big shot. <laughs> you think you're a big shot, is that it? Big shot. No, I don't think I'm a big shot, honest. You and all your clever put downs. You think you're a big shot. Well I'm wise to you. And guess what? I'm not a big shot. You ain't no fuck a big shot, big shot. <laughs> you think you're a big shot, don't you? Yeah, you do, big shot. Big <laughs> shot he thinks he's a big shot. Well he ain't. Guess why? Big shot's a little shot. Mm, get it? Uh, I'm a little shot. I get it. So don't be getting all up in my face, big shot. Because you ain't no big shot. <laughs> You're just a small peg in a little hole. And you know what? What? That ain't no big shot. <laughs> Whereas I am a big man in a big town. I'm a big shot. I'm a kick dirt of shit hill. And when I say walk, you walk. And when I say back off, you back off. And when I say nap, we all nap. <laughs> and so on. <laughs> I get it. When I say use your zip plus four, use it. <laughs> because it helps the postal service sort your mail more efficiently. <laughs> if you don't use your zip plus four, you must think you're a big shot. <laughs> don't make me death fold my tiny tray of nachos and hutch over you like a menacing wolverine, understand? Death hold. I got it. Good. Mind if I ask you something? Sure, go ahead. You think you're tough, don't you? <laughs> well, you're not tough. You know what? You're no big shot either. <laughs> you're not a big shot, and you're not a tough guy. These are two things you are definitely not. So I just have one thing left I want to ask you. What are you going to do now, tough guy who thinks he's a big shot? Wow. We're on the phone, and yet I can feel your breath on my face when you shout. And what are you going to do now, tough guy, big shot? <laughs> Please keep in mind that after this severe dressing down, my security detail will come over and threaten to lock you up. <laughs> Don't you ever think twice about having verbal confrontations like this with people in public? No. Listen, doll. when I'm out in public, for instance, at a baseball game, there's no excuse for bad language. Not when somebody swears at you publicly and says some real awful things, calling you a hypocrite with a lot of children sitting around and my son's there. In fact, my children are right here sitting next to me, you bucket mouth son of a bitch. <laughs> I heard you the first time you insulted me, Jimmy. Then you went in for seconds, and nobody ever gets seconds when I'm around. That was a multi-layer joke, by the way. Here's a little newsflash. I may be a public servant, but that doesn't give anybody the right to call me a hypocrite and say I suck in public. Uh, actually, it does. I'm pretty sure that's in the Bill of Rights. Guess you think you're a big shot with that Bill of Rights and so <laughs> You got a bucket mouth, big shot, tough guy. You're you're getting heckled a lot in public lately. Last month, the whole crowd booed you at a Mets game when you caught a foul ball. I thought it was a hot buttered roll. I acted on instinct. <laughs> How could you possibly think that was a hot buttered roll? Because it tasted like one. <laughs> but seriously, it did. The bottom line is this. You give it, you get it back. Use bad language around me and my family, and I will engage you back in a dignified, just, and civil manner. Okay, how about this? I think you're a corrupt hypocrite. You're lucky your family might not have an accident. Follow me. Whoa, where'd that come from? You're some kind of big shot? Is that it, tough guy? <laughs> tough guy, big shot? You watch it. I'm almost at a 10% approval rating right now. I'll come over there after a strategic visit to Arby's and turn your house into a Dutch oven, you motherfucking fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Low poll ratings only make me stronger. You think you're so smart? Try this off his size, you smug bumbalone. New Jersey schools are now ranked the second best in the nation due to pupil-to-teacher ratio. That's impressive. That's right, hot shot. And why do we have such a low pupil-to-teacher ratio? Because everybody's moving out of the fucking state, that's why. In your face, putts. And stay away from my nachos, or I'll threaten you with the short, stubby arm of the law and the breath of a sick mongoose.